If you would ask these teenagers where the food they eat comes from, odds are a farm would be fairly far down the list of answers. Today, about 2% of us farm, and with a growing population removed from the day-to-day -day production of food, questions from consumers about farming, especially about how animals are raised on today's farms, are natural. Sometimes people tell you things, it's a little harder to absorb, but if we can show you how we're doing things, we are positive you will like what you see and that, that we are taking care of these animals and, and providing for them as best we can. Art Van Beek is a lifelong dairy farmer. He remembers when hard work and determination were key components to successful dairy farming. That's still true, of course, but today, dairy farmers are committed to assuring consumers that they are providing responsible and ethical animal care on the farm. Without a doubt, we would love for the consumer to know what we're doing here. We, we have a plan that involves taking care of these cows that, that is actually a fun thing to do, right? They are, they're just such a part of our family that we have, we have grown to the idea that what's really good for the cows is good for us and is good for the consumer. In order to continue meeting consumer expectations about the food they are feeding their families, dairy farmers across California are taking steps to show their ongoing commitment to responsible animal care and well-being. The state has launched the National Dairy Farm Program, or Farmers Assuring Responsible Management. That's a program that's been established uh, through the work of veterinarians, dairy owners, animal scientists, and what they did is they looked at some guidelines or some standards that could be applied across the nation that could, could maximize animal care. And they were doing several things. They were responding to consumer questions about animal welfare. And they were also responding to their own true desires to do the ethically right thing. In fact, I give them incredibly high marks because they were the first group to use the word ethics in farm animal welfare. The farm program is voluntary and open to all dairy farmers. Once every three years, a qualified expert evaluates the dairy on site for things like animal health, nutrition, cow comfort, and the overall farm based on best animal care practices. This is one and two acceptable for cleanliness. When I'm on a dairy visit going through the, the farm animal care program with the producer, um, there's 77 questions included in the evaluation. And it's a comprehensive program, so it covers from the newborns, from the, the moment the, the babies are born on the dairy, all the way through the calves, the heifers, all the young stock, through when they're milking and then when the, anim the, dry the cows are dry. This is just getting to the point where we're documenting what the good work that they do every day um, to care for their animals. I think what's nice about the National Dairy Farm Program is it's like a checklist. So you have that to go over and you can say, yes, so these are the things that we're doing and these are the things maybe that we need to improve on. So when McKenzie comes out, you're gonna go through the complete farm, every aspect of it, from nutrition to animal health to looking at every animal. And so that's what makes it nice. I score the animals in four different areas. Uh, body condition, hawk health, which is basically like the leg, the leg health, um, foot health, and then cleanliness. Um, I also oftentimes have opportunities to observe employees working with the animals. I'm just basically there making my way around the dairy, working around the employees, the cows, just seeing how the daily operations take place. The evaluation process is thorough. It's something you can learn from, and it's just the right thing to do. Following the initial on-farm evaluations, a third-party verification step ensures validity and integrity of the program. A statistically valid sampling of all dairy farms in the program are re-evaluated, providing another set of eyes to validate the results of the program and document ongoing improvements. So I see that you guys have ear tags. Is that mostly how you identify all the animals? We have the RFID. Oh, and RFID? Mm -hmm. The third-party verification is important because that's where a lot of the credibility comes from. If, an, if a third party comes in and really evaluates how a dairy farm measures up against these national standards, it's it's extremely important for the credibility of that dairy farmer and the program to the consumer. We believe when we get to that third party evaluation that by showing people instead of telling them that they can be able to, to have the confidence they need when they go out to make their decisions on as, as far as what they want to feed their family. The farm program in California has an added boost for dairy farmers and consumers. Continuing education workshops, these classes offer relevant insight on the latest research and trends in the ever-changing dairy community. The goals are always clear, 
to provide optimum care of the animals and to continually improve animal well-being. What they've done, at the very least, they've educated the farmers, the, the producers, to what the welfare concepts are, and, and at the very best, the people who take uh, control of it and, and take ownership of these programs, the farm program or any other program, really can get an assessment of their farm and see what they're doing really well and what they're doing less well and how to, to fix the things that they need to fix. As the industry evolves, we have to be better and we will be better. And this third party evaluation, this farm program that's put together is going to make us accountable and keep us doing our job better each day. The National Dairy Farm Program is committed to bringing consistency and uniformity to animal care and production practices on America's dairies. California dairy families have overwhelmingly embraced that challenge as well. For them, this is about meeting consumer expectations. It's about sharing with people where their food comes from. It's about what happens on today's dairy farms. But more than anything, it's about doing what's right. The animals are important to us. And yeah, I think that's the main issue, that they matter to us, they're important to us, and we love our animals, so we're going to do what we need to do to keep them healthy and comfortable. Well, you know, I was born into a dairy family, and that's all we ever have done. So, we uh, take a lot of pride in that, and uh, we want the consumer to know that.